it's week two of the NFL preseason, where depth charts and playbooks will be put to the test. It's the Seahawks and the Titans, and it's coming up next. Just across the Cumberland River from those neon lights of Broadway, we welcome you inside Nissan Stadium here in Nashville. We thank you for joining us, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. It is week two of the preseason. Greg, as the coaches get ready for this one, you never know a preseason game was what we were preparing for. There was a focus and intensity after getting on the field for the first time as a unit in week one. You're exactly right, Mike. We had an opportunity to meet with these coaches, and from the way they talked, you would have thought this was week 10 of the regular season. And I think really what it boils down to, this is another great opportunity. One in the books. Who's going to stand out here? Very important week for some. Week two of the preseason. And we're off on EA Sports. And the kicking team right there. Stopping him before he can get to the 15-yard line. Here comes the Seattle offense to take over for the first time. They are led out by their quarterback, Dak Prescott. Judging by our conversations with the coaches, Mike, I think it's a pretty safe bet. We won't be seeing a lot of this guy. I think what they're trying to do is just get him under center, knock off some of the rust of the offseason, and get him a couple live reps before he starts in week one. At the end of the day, you just can't replicate this style of live action in practice. So whether you're an established veteran like him or a young quarterback, these reps in the preseason are invaluable. He'll come up now for second down and four. To throw is Dak. That's brought in by the tight end, Knox. Now a flag comes in. It was thrown by the umpire. The pickup is four, but usually that's a holding penalty. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and inches. Shotgun snap for Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. From the shotgun, it's Dak. He's going to air one out for Metcalf. the Titans are going to get the football at their own 40. When you find yourself in this situation, you're on defense, you're defending your own goal line, you got to take some chances. you got to try to force a turnover and make a play and get off the field. That's exactly what this defender did. Takes a chance, bets on himself, and comes away with a pick to save them some points. The Tennessee offense taking the field for the first time. And taking the snaps, a quarterback now in his third year in the league. And remember now, Mike, since they made the schedule change, this week two of the three-week preseason is really the opportunity to have a dress rehearsal for a lot of these starters. We see them get more game opportunities and game reps, all in preparation for week one to kick off. But for the rest of the team, there's the guys looking to fight for roles. And there's a lot of guys just looking to fight to make the roster. And he will slide to a halt, but he does have the first down. You know this defense worked all week defending this quarterback as a scrambler, as a runner. But sometimes it's just hard to simulate until you see him in real life, his speed, his ability to create. We saw him get him here early on the big scramble. He's able to pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Second and seven. They send Sutton in motion. Now, faking the give. That's caught on the right side by Sutton. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line. On third down, they'll set up to throw. He's got his man. He finds Sutton. They get 12 yards on that pass. That's good for a Titan first down. That's good for a 
these curl routes. He's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground, work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales. And he's in! Jamar Chase! Touchdown, Titans! Mike we used to have a saying that it was the responsibility of the receiver to run the route through the eyes of the quarterback. And I think this is a great example here. Two guys clearly on the same page. Quarterback expected his target to be in a certain place at a certain time. He's there, balls delivered accurately. He's able to pick up the rest with his legs and that's a big time connection for the touchdown. Aubrey, good with the extra point. And the Titans will take a seven nothing lead. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. A return now from the four. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Seahawks offense ready to see the football for the second time. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. On the ground for the first time. Here comes Jonathan Taylor. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, his offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. Well, let's give credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was nowhere to go with the ball for that quarterback. He had no choice but to just tuck it down himself, and he's able only to pick up a short game. It's a short pickup, taking this to the 49. Junior Colson there to make the stop. Third down, three to go. They'll try and run for this. It's Taylor. So that'll bring up fourth down. And here comes the veteran Bradley Pinion to punch it away. And we will not have a return here. This one angled out of bounds. The Titans offense ready to see what they can do on their second possession. They lead 7-0 thanks to the touchdown on the opening drive. So try to double up here as they begin this drive first and 10. Off play action. He'll set up to throw. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Dulcich now brought in motion. A handoff to Pacheco. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. He's going to lose a yard. They come to the line needing 11 here on third down. On play action, he'll set up to throw. And that is incomplete. Keon Coleman, the intended receiver. And it's going to lead to fourth down. The Titans punting unit comes out to the field. And not much doing there. They made sure he would not get free. The Seahawks offense make their way out to take over once more. They'll do so with first and ten. A 
operating from the gun. Here's Dak. Oh, that swung out wide and intercepted. Picked off by the former Wolverine, the rookie from Michigan. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the goal line. Nearly a pick six, but he does set up the offense with first and goal. It's not often, Mike, that everything breaks right for this type of return off of an interception. But boy, is it beautiful when it does. I mean, look at the defenders just flip around and become blockers, trying to spring their guy to the house. Great athleticism, some great moves on his part. I mean, he's going to have some of his offensive teammates looking over their shoulder for their position. So now, after the interception, a sudden change situation. First and goal. Here's Pacheco. And he will not get in from there. In fact, I think he was shoved backwards a little bit. All week long, they stress, Mike, that we have to get as many defenders to this ball carrier as possible. They know he's going to make some guys miss. He's going to be hard to get on the ground. But you can see the effect of rallying to the ball as it had here. They're able to take him down, and they're able to do it for a loss. And he'll take it on in. Portland Sutton. Touchdown, Tennessee. That is a dream scenario. The offense handed the ball first and goal. And Greg, they take it to the end zone for six. They're not going to have many easier drives than that, Mike. I mean, to get the ball, not only in a short field, but in a goal-to-go -go situation, you don't get a lot of those chances. You have to cash them in, and that's exactly what they were able to do. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. This will be returned from the six. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Seahawks offense and Dak Prescott set to take over again. Set to go now on first and ten. The man in motion is Watson. Dak going to throw it here on first down. Open man left side is Brown. He's got it. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. And he is crushed in the backfield. Defenders firing through. Shut it down right away for a loss of yardage. Here now, third and five. Here's Prescott. Oh, he's got a man. That's caught by Brown. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. I really like the rhythm that this offense has found. I mean, that third down, that wasn't a layup by any means, but they made it look easy. Everybody was exactly where they needed to be. The quarterback did a nice job working through his progression, saying, okay, I understand this is zone defense. I understand where the limitations of the coverage are. I'm going to get to that spot on the field as fast as I can, deliver the ball, pick up the first down. And he is going to be stuffed well behind the line of scrimmage. That play going absolutely nowhere. After the loss of three, it is second and 13. Prescott. Left side. It's caught by Brown. Third and five. The man in motion is Watson. On third down, Prescott. And that is incomplete. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. And he missed it. It's no good. And they do not cut into the deficit. And this is the danger of trying these long field goals. Remember, Mike, if you miss, the other team gets the ball at the spot of the kick. So it's going to end up setting them up for great field position as they start this next drive. The Titans offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. 
They've raced out to a 14-0 lead. They've done nothing wrong so far. This one complete to Sutton. He's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. A good spot here, second and a yard. Here's Willis. That's dropped off for Pacheco. And they'll take this down inside the 35. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. I think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often. So that might be his first target. I don't think it's going to be his last. And they're going to get him down this time. Not as easy as the last carry. This time they drop him behind the line of scrimmage. Second down. Dulcich now brought in motion. Once again, it's Pacheco. And he's going to be bottled up quickly after a gain of about one. Marcus Epps up from the secondary to make the tackle. Here's a third and ten. They send Sutton in motion. He manages to get the throw away and completes it. So a big third down hookup takes us to the break. It's the Titans out to the early lead. We're back in Music City after this. So they move inside the 20, first and 10 at the 18. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He'll swing one out wide to Pacheco. And he's not going to be able to get away very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. Just nowhere to go once he catches this ball. You see, he's doing everything in his power to make guys miss and break tackles. I think he ended up doing a little bit too much because he ends up going backwards. He'll get this complete to Pacheco. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line. Third and long. They bring Chase in motion. Throwing now on third and long. He's got it to the tight end, Dulcich. I think there's one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks, and now they got a fourth down decision to make. Aubrey's kick is good. And the Titans stake themselves to a 17 to nothing lead. It's always a little bit of a letdown, Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through and they get three. This is fielded inside the five. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The Seahawks offense ready for this next possession. They trail this one 17 to nothing now. Really need to find some inspiration, some momentum on this drive as they'll begin here with first down. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Now Prescott. That one up. Oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. Wow, you think you have moved it down the field with a terrific passing catch. But, gotta finish the play, and on the turnover, the defense takes over. You work so hard, Mike, to execute the play the way it's designed, and you come up with a huge explosive play in the pass game, only to then lose it because of poor ball security. That's exactly what we saw here. Give credit to the defense forcing that ball out. But it's a shame that it came at the end of what was a big offensive play. And remember now, all turnovers have to be verified by a replay. So they might be taking a look at this one. At issue was the knee or any other body part except the hand down before the ball comes loose. And are the visuals convincing enough 
to overturn the call on the field. So that one overturned. They say the runner was down, and that will not be a fumble. On the play fake, Dak. A ball deep for the end zone. That ball broken up. It is incomplete. They tried the shot on first down, couldn't connect. It'll bring up second down. They'll motion over Metcalf. Again, Prescott to the air. Firing right side, brought in by Brown. And they will take him down at the 20 yard line. Boy, some bulk in the formation on that right side here for first and 10. To the air again, Prescott. Now he'll run it and he'll gain yardage and able to get down at the end of the play. Here's second and three to go. A shotgun snap for Prescott. He's got that complete to Knox. And he will score. Dawson Knox. Touchdown, Seattle. Now the veteran Matt Prater for the extra point. It's up and through. And the Seahawks are back in this one. It's 17 to 7. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kicks away. This taken in at the 8-yard line. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. Out comes the Tennessee offense. They get set to see what they can do. Their lead is 10. They go back to work trying to add to it. It begins with first down. He will air this out looking for Sutton. We've already seen these two guys connect for a touchdown in this game. And had they been on the same page there, I think they would have been able to add to that total. Unfortunately for them, just a little bit off and it falls incomplete. Dulcich now brought in motion. Pistol snap to Willis. And he's not going to be able to get away. Very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. I think this play is a direct result of his film study. He knew exactly where that ball was going before the play was snapped. And that play recognition, man, it separates a lot of guys in this league and results in a negative play. Out quickly there to Sutton. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no game. Here's Matt Ariza now. He'll punt for the second time, looking to hit another good one. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. Out comes the Seattle offense as they get ready for their next possession. The deficit is at 10, so an important drive forthcoming. Getting started with first and 10. They'll start this on the ground. It's Taylor. And that's the way you want to run it on first down. A gain of seven. Second down and three. Ben in motion is Brown. And they're going to bring him down, but there is a penalty marker on the field. On second down, it's Dak. That's brought in by the tight end, Knox. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. They need eight as they come up for third down. 
They'll motion over Metcalf. From the shotgun, it's Dak. He'll get this one complete to Brown. That's catch number five tonight, and it's good for a first down. Great pre-snap recognition here by the quarterback. He looks outside and sees man coverage, and he knows exactly where he's going to go with the ball. Now it's up to the receiver to create separation at the top of the route. Ball's on time, great placement, nice big pickup. First down, Prescott. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's a second and three forthcoming. They'll work the middle here with Taylor. And he's going to be stopped in his tracks. He'll lose a couple of yards on that one. Press gone from the gun on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. Here's Bradley Pinion now, and he is hoping to improve on his first attempt. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. The Titans offense ready to see what they can do. They'll begin with first and ten. Dulcich now brought in motion. Now Willis. He finds his tight end, Dulcich. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Look him up on a second down and eight. Throwing, Willis. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. They'll come up to third and three. Now, faking the give. That's to the left side and taken in by Coleman. And he's going to be out of bounds with a gain of seven. And that'll be enough for a first down. Throwing, Willis. They go right back to Coleman. He's got it again. And they'll get this one down to the 35-yard line. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. Everyone talks about being balanced. But as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early, and that last pickup leads to a first down. A give here to Pacheco. That's powerful running, lowers the shoulder, and picks up four. Here's a second and six. Dulcich now brought in motion. They'll stay on the ground and stay with Pacheco. Good blocking to the 15. The speed on display. He's in. Isaiah Pacheco. Touchdown, Titans. Aubrey now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Titans up their lead. It's now 24 to 7. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. This returnable from the four. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line. The visitors' offense starting to trot out for this next possession. The deficit is 17, so they got to start cutting into it soon. See if it starts here. First and 10. Opera 
operating from the gun. Here's Dak. That one incomplete. They can't hook up there. And that incompletion takes us to the two-minute warning. Second down, Prescott. Quick throw, taken in. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. Prescott. He's got a man. That's Watson. Now Seattle going to use the first of their timeouts. And they'll have a chance to talk things over after picking up that first down. Right back to Watson. Another grab. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Hit as he throws, and it is incomplete. Just couldn't deliver that one the way he wanted to. Not really sure if there was much there anyways. We do know it'll be third down. The man in motion is Watson. Third and short. Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively. Setting up a fourth down. On comes the punter now. As he is on to kick it for Seattle. They will get away from that one. And they're going to have a tremendous field position. This ball hits and goes out of bounds. The Titans offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And he has done everything you could ask of him coming into this one. He spread it around, hasn't taken many chances, and potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. The Titans will use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops. 50 seconds to play until halftime. Willis. And that ball in and out of his hands. It is incomplete. Might tell you after the game, he should have come up with that one. He doesn't. And now third down comes up. To throw, here's Willis. They'll set up the screen to Pacheco. Good looking screen play there. A gain of 11 and a first down. And this is why most teams, Mike, decide to take the ball first after the halftime break because they want to be able to control this middle four. At the end of the first half, you can use your timeout. You can use some strategy to steal an extra possession. If they're able now to go down and come away with points, they'll have a chance to double it up again right after the halftime break. they are trying to set up the screen here with Pacheco. Give him 13 on that screen play and a first down. Willis now to throw. That's complete to Coleman. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. They'll come up here first and 10. Throwing is Willis. He's got it to the tight end, Dulcich. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. These crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game, all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch. And it's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game. Titans going to use the last of their timeouts here. for the field goal now it's Brandon Aubrey this about as short as you can get he is two for two that kick is good so we are at halftime in this preseason matchup as we'll get you down to Orlando now that's where the coach is Jonathan Coachman this halftime report is brought to you by W Energy you can get 10% off your order with code DADGAMER at W.GG. That's right. Fuel your game, fuel your life, and save while you're at it. Halftime Report.
All right, Mike, thanks very much. Back to you and Greg in just a moment. I want to remind everyone, this is week two of the preseason. These two teams will have one more tune-up after this next week before the regular season gets started on the Thursday following Labor Day. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down to the kickoff of the second half. A safe kick taken at the five. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The home team's offense, ready to get back at it. As we look back at some of the highlights of this one, you'll see a lot of them, Greg, coming for the passing game. They've done a nice job picking the defense apart. Yeah, and I think that's the right way to say it. It hasn't necessarily been just a bunch of deep shots, a bunch of explosives. It's been more methodical. It's been precise. They've really been all over their execution, and this is about as close to a complete performance as you're going to see from any offense throughout the course of this season. And a short pickup to about the 30. Second down and eight. Pick it to throw. Off balance throw. It's complete. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Motion man sent right. They'll go play action with Pickett. This throw taken in by Hurst. And he is very close to the first down, but an uh, eyeball, he is shy of it. And they say it's fourth and inches. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. The visitors' offense ready for their first possession of this second half. They are in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and ten. The motion man is Johnson. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Thompson. That's caught. It's Mitchell. And he'll get about six before he's taken down. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. You hope against hope here in the preseason, especially that it's not too serious. Patrick motioning here. They'll throw here on third and short. And that is incomplete. Missed opportunities like these are a big reason why they find themselves down double digits here in the third quarter, Mike. Points on this possession could have gone a long way towards making this game competitive, but instead, poor execution, especially in the passing game, and it's another wasted drive. The home team's offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They've definitely outplayed their opponents to this point in the third quarter. They might be looking to grind out some first downs and chew up some valuable time on the clock. And a nice run. Get him about nine. It'll bring up second down. Tight end going in motion here. They run once more with Edwards. And he will have the first down. Not a huge run, but enough to move the chains. Man in motion here is Washington. On the play fake, it's Pickett. That'll be taken in by Edwards. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. They face second down and seven. Tight end, the motion man to the right. From the gun, give to Edwards. And he's going to have the first down. Mark him at the 45 and move the chains. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass. And I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground. 
and the offense is able to pick up a first down. Now a handoff, the tight end in the running game. Yeah! And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. First and 10 now from the 36. The motion man is Johnson. On first down, pick it. The pass rush gets home and he goes down. And now we're seeing the game kind of go back and forth. Each team trading blows, trying to establish control over the other. Nice chunk play on the previous play. The defense responds back with a sack and we're going to see which team can establish a little bit more of this control as the game unfolds. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. On second down, it's Edwards. And he'll get this down inside the 40-yard line. A gain of seven yards. Third and long. From the shotgun, here's Pickett. Going up top. And this throw out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. So, of course, you prefer to connect on that throw. But think about it like this, Mike. The more they continue to test this defense downfield, the more it's going to open up some of those shorter passes underneath. Aubrey's kick is good. And the Titans will extend their lead. I think at this point in the game, Mike, when you had things under control, not only were they able to hold on to the ball for a while, they still were able to manage to add three points. They're trying to pin him deep. They'll take this from the three. They'll get across the 20, mark him at the 22-yard line. The visitors' offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. They'll start it here with a first and ten. And he'll be brought down after a short pickup to the 24. Nakobe Dean in on the tackle. Again, they'll give it to Charbonnet. And he'll weave his way down close to that first down. Going to come up just a little shy. It's going to be third down and short. They'll try and run for this with Charbonnet. And he will have the Seahawks first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert on third and one. The motion man is Johnson. To throw is Thompson. That one caught by Donovan Peoples-Jones. These are the type of plays that drive a coach crazy in the film room, and you have to learn as a quarterback to avoid. You can take some chances. You can push the ball downfield, but not only to pick up a couple yards. You got to pick your chances of when you want to be aggressive, and you got to make sure you make better decisions going forward. They go zone read here on third and short. And he's going to have the first down, but we do have a flag on the field, and they are already walking backwards. So after the five yards are walked off, they face third and long. And that is incomplete. Well defended there, and the quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend, so give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. And that's a nice job of getting to him, making sure that return was not going anywhere. The home team's offense about ready to take over once more. They'll try to establish some tempo, as they start this one with first and ten. 
They'll run to begin this drive. It's Edwards. Not much happening there. Just a short game. Here's second and nine. Tight end on the move left. Again, it's Edwards. And he'll manage to pick up about four. Brett Delp it up to make the play. Here comes third and six. Brings up third and six. From the gun is Pickett. That is knocked away downfield. Incomplete. He made sure not to let the receiver get behind him. Third down stop sets up fourth down. The Titans sending out their punt. He's on to punt it for the fourth time tonight. Oh, but he cannot get away. Great job down there to hold him to a short return. The Seahawks offense headed back to take over once more. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. Here's Thompson. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. He just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage. We see quarterbacks do that all the time. But I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. 18 yards on the pickup there. First down, Seattle. Throwing Thompson. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Now, Thompson. He's got his man, Peoples Jones. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Third and a yard. On the handoff, it's Charbonnet. And he will work this down to the 43-yard line, and that is enough for a first down. Thompson to throw. Quick throw here is complete. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Thompson now to throw. That's caught over the middle by Johnson. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Here's first and ten. So, three quarters have come and gone. EA Sports back for more from the NFL preseason after this. Charbonnet in the back, and he goes straight ahead. Now they are in business inside the 15-yard line. Space getting tight here, down to the 13-yard line. They work first and 10. In the red zone now. He'll drop to throw. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe. Inside the 40 to the 20. And he is going to score a pick six for the touchdown. Well, they had a big hole to climb out of, and now it is even bigger. Greg, the defense was waiting for it, feasts on it, and they get to celebrate with a pick six. Well, a very fitting way for this one to come to an end here, Mike. This has been a completely dominant defensive performance. This pick six here in the fourth quarter ends what has been a total runaway.
The extra point by Aubrey is good. And the Titans will add one more onto their big lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away he fields it at the eight and he'll be brought down right around the 25 yard line the Seahawks offense ready to take over once again let's go back and scroll through some of their drives one theme Greg gonna keep emerging throughout too many turnovers. Yeah, I think it's been a combination of just carelessness, right? Some sloppy play offensively that has caused some of them. But also, let's give some credit to the defense. I think in a lot of the cases, they're also forcing these takeaways, punching the ball out, going up for interceptions. They've been in the right place at the right time. So combination of really good defense at times and at times really bad offense. Line of scrimmage is the 37-yard line for first and 10. On play action, he'll set up to throw. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. You hope against hope here in the preseason, especially that it's not too serious. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. He'll drop to throw. Open man is Johnson. He's got him. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Patrick motioning here. They'll look to throw again. This one caught by Patrick. And they'll take this down inside the 35. It's a gain of 10. First down, Seahawks. They'll look to throw yet again. He tosses over the middle. This one is caught. And they're going to be set up right around the 10-yard line. So not quite first and goal. It's first and 10. They're pretty close. This one on target for Johnson. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Charbonnet going to try to pull his way in. Powering forward. He's in. Zach Charbonnet. Touchdown, Seahawks. Well, it's not going to be enough, but at least they find the end zone at the end of a hard week's work. At least a little payoff with a touchdown, Greg. Mike, you can just chalk this one up in the column of too little, too late. Give credit to this offense for not going down without a fight, but they're not going to have enough time to find themselves back in this one. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. This taken in at the eight yard line. And he'll be taken down right at the 29 yard line. The Titans offense ready to come back out for this next possession. This one appears to be safe in hand. It has been a clinical performance to this point. Now they'll try to finish up strong. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards. And he'll get about six there, setting up second down. It's a pick up for six. Brings up second and four at the 35-yard line. The motion man is Johnson. They'll run it with Edwards. And nothing doing on that one. He'll go down behind the line. This is what every defense in the league is shooting for, Mike. Negative plays. That's how you kill drives. Force teams to play from behind the sticks. Great job here. Taking them down for a loss. On third down, they'll set up to throw. This one complete to Washington. And he's very close to a first down, but it doesn't look like he got there. And yes, they're going to mark him a yard short. Punt team out, ready to send this one away. As he'll come on to kick for the fifth time here tonight. And 
Good coverage by the punt team. They stop him before he can get any return cranked up. The Seahawks' offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. Things not looking good. But see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. This one finds Peoples-Jones. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. They'll come to the line now on second and two. The motion man is Johnson. Now they'll set up to throw. He'll be hit as he throws this time, and it's going to fall incomplete. And he might be fortunate just to avoid the sack, and it'll set up a third down. Thompson. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looked like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. They'll look to throw. That is incomplete. They took a chance throwing it on fourth and short, but not to be. And they'll turn it over on downs. You find yourself down big. It's the fourth quarter. There's really no choice but to go for this at this point. But once again, this defense, they're up to the task, and they come through yet again with a huge stop. Pick it now on play action. Oh, he's going to be bottled up and taken down. They got him. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. Out of the gun, they'll give it to Edwards. And this defense up to the task there. Gain of just two, and it's third down. To throw, pick it. This is part of the two. And he's in. Touchdown, Tennessee. They continue to add points, Greg. Very interesting here. They are just rolling up the score, even though we're in the fourth. No doubt, Mike. I mean, this offensive play caller has no let up. I mean, he's going to see how many points can I put on this scoreboard before that clock runs out. On for the PAT is Aubrey. He gets it to go. And the Titans stretch things out even further. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away the return starts from the five he'll work his way across the 25 yard line the Seahawks offense back onto the field for their next possession they'll do so with first and ten the motion man is Johnson Back to throw here to begin the drop. That's to the sideline. Taken in by Johnson. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. He'll check this one down to Charbonnet. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. In motion, Peoples-Jones. To throw is Thompson. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Back to the air one more time. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. Third down. 
throwing Thompson. And that is incomplete. I think the biggest issue and why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the ups and downs of this passing game. And sometimes he's highly accurate and efficient, but at others, he just misses too many easy throws. The question is, are they going to be able to overcome this quarterback inconsistency and pull this game out? So this offense, they think this is a prime opportunity to go for it through the air on fourth down. But this defense was having none of it. Nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball. No easy completions. And this defense forces a huge stop on fourth down. From the 39, here's a first and 10. The motion man is Johnson. Here's Edwards. A gain of four as he's taken down. Here's second and six. On the ground, it's Edwards. Maybe a couple there. It's third down. From the shotgun, here's Pickett. That's caught. Left side. It's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds as the clock will stop. We would have stopped anyway as we've hit the two-minute warning. Set to go now on first and ten. The motion man is Johnson. Edwards now on first and ten. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. Where a defender makes his tackles tells you a lot about his abilities. And for an interior defensive lineman, Mike, to make plays on the outside of the formation just speaks to his speed, his effort, his ability to run down the line. And we saw it here, and he takes the back down for a loss. On third down, here's Edwards. He's going to get this down to the eight, but that is it. Defense holds him there, and they force fourth down. On for the field goal now, it's Brandon Aubrey. This, about as short as you can get. Another one through the uprights. He's four for four on the game. And the Titans add on to their lead. So it's not exactly what you're looking for when you set out on a drive, but at the same time, you don't want to come away empty-handed either. So in this case, they'll take those three points. Here we go. One final play. They go sideline, and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. So it's a win here for the Titans. As we move closer to the regular season, we'll wrap up the preseason with the finale next week before we get it going for real come September. So that'll do it for us, for Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. The Titans winners here in Music City as we say so long from Nashville.